Are you struggling to find new customers? Or maybe you would like to expand on your lead generation activities. Maybe you would like to add a new channel to your existing channels. If you've answered yes to any of these questions, then keep watching because this video has been made just for you. In today's video, I'm going to be talking about Apollo, a tool that is a combination of a database, of a email marketing software, and a AI cool thingy that will help your sales team to write better messages, basically. And just FYI, this video has not been sponsored by Apollo anyhow. I happen to be using it for quite some time for various activities and while working with uh, multiple of my clients. I'm just a member of affiliate program of Apollo, so if you will happen to click the link below in this video, I will receive a commission. But other than that, it's not sponsored, it's just based totally on my experience. So let's start with the first one, so database. Apollo is a profound huge, enormous, I would say, database where you can find multiple information about the prospects that you are looking for. So if you are looking to expand on your customer base and you would like to find about the people that you can reach out to, there is probably no better place on the planet than Apollo or LinkedIn, LinkedIn Sales Navigator. And Apollo is happened to be paid in most of the cases. I mean, like there is a free plan, which I think is probably useless because you will not be able to use most of the features. Anyways, it will enable you to find companies, If you, it will enable you to find people, decision makers, and all of the relevant information about these people. Let me explain this a little bit more. Let's say that you are selling a particular piece of software to bankers, or you are selling this software to tax advisors, and you would like to find companies in a particular country or throughout the world that are doing exactly this, so they are tax advisors. What you only need to do is to have an active subscription of Apollo, do some research within it, apply some filters because there are dozens of filters that you can apply to narrow down the specific niche and specific people. So you can either type in the keyword, you can enter some of the information like company size, like the geography or the particular industry, so on and so forth. And you can filter out the companies that you are looking for and then create a list which will serve you as a list of prospects to reach out to. You can do the same thing with people. So you can narrow down specific decision makers that have certain job title, for example, within the companies of a certain size and create a list uh, with these people and start reaching out to them. Apollo has dozens of filters that you can apply. So I am relatively sure that if you are having right now ideal client avatar or a buyer persona, then there is a pretty good chance that you will find the contacts that you're looking for within Apollo. In some of the cases you can find their emails, and in some of the cases you can even find personal phone numbers. Of course, depending on your location and where you're at, this is either legal, half legal or not legal at all because you can send a cold email or you cannot. So make sure to check it all out before you start reaching out to people. And very important information about Apollo, they say that a lot of these emails are accurate. They are not as accurate from my experience. So if you are aiming to reach out to some people, there is a chance probably around 30 to 40% that the contact will not be valid. So the email address will not be either up to date or the person is no longer with the company or maybe some of the information are outdated. So it's not perfect, but it's one of the best out there. Before I will move any further, make sure to subscribe to our channel if you're finding this video interesting. You can also use Apollo to create some of the interesting email outreach campaigns in order to reach out to people and here you have like also multiple possibilities when it comes to the content of the email that you can apply, when it comes to the personalized information based on the fields that you can find in Apollo. So let's say that you are writing a message and you are mentioning the company name, it can be dynamically applied within the content of an email. You can also apply multiple information that are within this company page or on this person's page. Furthermore, what you can do is that you can ask Apollo to write you creative copy. And with that, I would say it worked acceptably well, but in my experience, if you want to really reach out to people and if you really want to do this well, 
you should conduct some tests manually within your organization, reach out to 50 or 100 people, see if your message is anyhow resonating, reiterate on that message before you will start automating. So that's my philosophy, but you can also use your own and, and you're free to do whatever you want, of course, but just a tip. In my opinion, AI generated content and messages are not pretty good when it comes to reaching out to people. So just FYI. Apollo also has export capabilities. So if you are looking to enrich some of your efforts outside of Apollo and you would like to provide your marketing department with some insights about particular businesses or companies, if you would like to give them some of the information for Google Ads campaign, if you would like to feed this information to AI to create your perfect customer avatar, there are dozens of possibilities that you can use the data for in order to make your marketing and sales better. It's basically up to you. I think that Apollo is good in the following scenarios. First and foremost, account-based marketing. If you are already having customers in a particular industry, then it's super easy with Apollo to reiterate on that and use the examples of your past successes to reach out to people, tell them about these successes, tell them about, about the results that you were able to deliver to your current clients and then expand on that. So this is the, I think, the easiest thing to do. So you are taking what you have, you are putting this information in Apollo, finding more companies of a similar profile and you boom, 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 you start reaching out to them via LinkedIn, via email, via phone, you can automate, you can hire some interns. You can outsource this to a third party or to a freelancer from Fiverr. You can do multiple things, but reiterating on that, I think it's the, one of the best things to do. The second thing is to run a cold email campaign. And I, as I mentioned, I think that doing this manually and preparing some messages, preparing some templates in Outlook and sending them out manually, gathering some information, feedback, and seeing if there are results is the best way to go before you will start sending thousands of messages. Also, FYI, if you are looking to export things from Apollo in bulk, because you've already tried to do this on a small amount of prospects and you need more emails and you want to run an automated campaign, then make sure to use one of these tools that will enable you to check the emails and see if they are actually valid before you will start sending. Because like I said before, probably between 20 to 30, 35% of emails will not be up to date. So using uh, tools like Bouncer or Never Bounce will help you to do that. If you'd like to check one of these, just click the link below. Nevertheless, running an account-based marketing, running a cold email campaign is obvious choices and also feeding the data to AI and to your marketing department, providing them with some more insights about a particular industry is also a way to go. And the last thing that I would like to mention is the fact that Apollo has also a great, great extension for your browser, which enables you to browse through people LinkedIn's and add them on your Apollo list because, because there's probably 95% chance that if someone is on LinkedIn, they're probably in Apollo. So you can add these people to your list and then start ramping up your efforts to reach them to find out if they can become your customers. That's about it when it comes to Apollo. Uh, if this video was anyhow interesting for you, let me know. If you have any questions, leave them in the comment section down below. Make sure to leave us a thumbs up and subscribe if you uh, found it interesting. Have a great rest of your day and thanks for watching.